Shalom Israel. I am on my computer watching Elder Ricard, the 2018 Passover. I wanted to attend very badly, but I wasn't able to, so I have to watch it online. It appears that Elder Ricard is enjoying the fruit of his labor. If you have been a follower of his ministry, he has been in this field for what a couple of decades now. So I am very proud of him, very proud of his success. Uh, the seeds that he sold, the message, as well as the impact that he has impacted so many lives. I still don't understand why he is not wearing a beard. <laughs> Christ wore a beard. I don't trust anyone with a clean face. When I do look at his ministry, like all I can see is Ben Yahweh. Ben Yahweh is the one who started this Hebrew movement and he gave birth to a lot of these popular Israelite camps regardless if they don't acknowledge his ministry or not. He did give birth to the messages that you hear Elder Rakar touch on as well as the other popular Israelite camps. If you go back and view a lot of Ben Yahweh's videos, you're going to see that these popular Israelite camps are speaking the exact same message. So there's nothing new under the sun. It's just very interesting to see the crowd in this 2018 Passover. So the scriptures are coming alive. The harvest is plenty, but the labors are few. So we really need to be about our Father's business and begin to work while it is still day because nighttime is coming when no man can work. But um, it's very unfortunate that the uh, sheep have become so codependent on a lot of these personalities, if I can use that term. And that's not good because when you have so many people that is attracted to just one personality, it can really lose its touch. <laughs> now, take it for instance, what if Elder Ricard wasn't able to attend this Passover? Uh, it, it would have been very disappointing to a lot of the people who attend this 2018 they, because a lot of them expected to see him. And it's, they know they, that they was there for that reason. If you go and look at a lot of videos that were posted, you could just see how they was just staring at him. It was like they treated him like he was a celebrity. <laughs> and I'm just very happy to see that he has impacted so many lives. So keep him in your prayer. If you happen to be a follower of Elder Ricard, I don't trust him. No, but that doesn't give me a right to slander him or talk about him in a negative way because only a bastard would do that. <laughs> a bastard is someone who behaves that acts like they doesn't have a father. So I point out the character defect that's among the tribe of Judah today because it's hard to correct character defect. <laughs> you know the old saying? A dog will always avoid eye contact and a snake will never show fear. So you have to watch those who are in leadership because a lot of them have hidden agendas, a lot of them are seeking power, and a lot of them are not what they appear to be. That's why in all my videos I always say that you will know them by their fruit. They keep you from judging. You have to look at the fruit. Is he producing fruit? Yes. People are coming. They're coming from all over. And he is seeing the fruit of his labor. So pray for your brother if you happen to be a follower of him. Pray for your brother. Ask the Most High to give him the spirit of discernment and give him wisdom. You're going to need wisdom when you are 
dealing with people. But you know what I find very interesting? He does not have a building. He, is, he knows he's the church, but he doesn't have a building. When you have so many people coming yearly to these events, <laughs> you would think the next move is to get a building to just keep the crowd coming. We'll see. Maybe that may be in progress. You never know. So keep your brother in prayer. I don't trust Elder Rukai. I don't trust any other Israelite brothers. That's just me. <laughs> I'm praying that the Most High would uh, correct them because I know 100% that what I'm seeing it as of right now is nothing but deception. And I won't take back what I said. Before the real thing shows up, deception has got to be on the scene first. <laughs> Matthew 7 verse 16 says, you will know them by their fruit. Shalom Israel.